wanting some Christmas activities to start spreading some Christmas joy. Making a Christmas memory. I've got 19 here for you. What ages? I think this could be great for 18 months to two years, up to five even. I've done it with my 18 month old, my daughter when she was two and now she's three. And these have been so much fun. Let's get into it. So the first one is a Rudolph craft. First off, I traced my daughter's hands and then I traced out an oval for Rudolph's head, some little ovals for his eyes. And if able, get your kids involved. If they're used to scissors, get them to start cutting out some of the circles and ovals and then give them the glue so that they can glue it into place. While doing this, we sang Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. It was a fun time. We just did this a week ago. Number two is a gigantic painting or coloring in board. Basically, I grabbed a box from the packages we've been getting in lockdown, drew some Christmas images on it, Santa, Jesus, tree, stocking, present and then I took it outside because I did this with my three-year-old and 18 month old so I wanted to keep the paint outside, stuck it to our fence so that they were able to use their whole bodies when they were painting and I went a paintbrush for each colour so that I didn't have water on the table as well. But hey, another option is some butcher's paper, Christmas images, put it on a wall or a window and they can use markers to colour it in. There's just something about massive images, isn't it? It's just more exciting for kids and you know what, for adults too. It's really exciting when things are big. Number three is dot the Christmas trees. We love dot sticker activities. So I just drew four different trees. I wrote the color on top so that they're getting a bit of exposure to letters as well. And then dot stickers are awesome for fine motor skills, peeling them off and putting them on. I'm going to add shades this year when I do it with my three-year-old. Light green, dark green, purple, uh, pink. Number four is baking and decorating gingerbread cookies or bickies. Thanks to Google for the recipe. Hubby just Googled it and we made it all together and then we use these red and green M&Ms to decorate them as well as piping bags to do the icing. There is something about doing Christmas baking together as a family. This one's fun but if you want even simpler then get a plain biscuit, you know, an arrowroot or something. Then make up some icing then they can stick on little lollies and eyes and M&Ms and things like that. Number five is decorating a Christmas tree. So once again, using those boxes we've been getting, cutting out different size triangles and then setting it up this Christmas decorating. So lots of sequins, pom-poms. Using glue is awesome for the kids' hand strength. So this is a fun activity for them to do and you get some really pretty Christmas trees at the end. My tip with this invitation to create is I use this little snack container from Kmart. I think it was two bucks and it just meant I could separate the different items. But you know, a chip or dip tray, works well for displaying all the items that they can use. Number six, count and dot. So I drew some simple Christmas trees with my simple triangle and then wrote a number in the trunk of each one of them. Then my three-year-old counted out the number of baubles that corresponded with the number in the Christmas tree. Awesome for counting, awesome fine motor skills once again. Number seven is Christmas cards. Last year in our mum's group when all our kids were two, we decided to send cards to each other because kids love getting the mail. So what I did is I wrote each kid's name on a card, gave my daughter these Scrabble stickers and she just matched the letters or depending on where they're at developmentally they're just matching symbols. So an F and an F, they just look the same. It may not have the meaning or oh, that's F it says. And then she decorated with watercolours which made it really unique. For us parents I think watercolours are just easier. You provide a bit of water at the start in a little container and they're off. They can do it so independently. Number eight is Christmas tracing. Once again, draw some Christmas trees, grab these Q-tips or cotton buds or cotton tips and then dip it in paint. I just use the top of the lids because they only need satch a little bit. This is great for hand-eye coordination, pre-writing skills, pincer grip. On to the next one, which is shortbreads, another baking activity. It's a must in our family. We really love to do this. I love eating shortbreads and there's so many different ways you can decorate them. So many skills too, early math skills, you know, you're talking about measurement, capacity, you're counting. It's a great life activity. Number 10 is Christmas tree sticky wall. So we've done this this year with an 18 month old and a three year old. And I just use contact paper, you know, that adhesive paper that you use to cover your books. And then painters tape around the outside, then Christmas bows and ribbon, and they just stick it on and they can decorate and redecorate again and again. Number 11 is ice Christmas trees. So what I did is I froze some water in these Christmas tree molds and then took them outside and then with watercolors we decorated them 
and then you can spray and they go again or here they melted and then you redecorate again. Another option instead of using paper all the time we can just freeze some water and they can paint on the ice. Number 11 is frozen oobleck so the ratio for this is two to one so corn flour or I believe in America it's called corn starch it's what you use to make gravy and then water so two tablespoons of corn flour one tablespoon of water and then mixed it together and then I added in the food dye and mixed it as well then we put it in the freezer and got it out so it acts like oobleck you know when you're firm with it it is hard and then when you just hold it it just melts away it's that amazing and exciting substance so freezing it is just fun it's summer in Australia so if you're in the southern hemisphere it's a great activity number 13 is reindeer haircuts so using some toilet paper drew some little faces cut it so it looks like hair and then give it to your child with scissors I did this with my two-year-old and she just cut the reindeer's hair Number 14 is Christmas baubles. So it's a way to do a Christmas sensory tub or bin. I had these plastic baubles and then I used the snack tray once again with pom-poms with green sensory rice. To make the sensory rice, you need one cup of long grain rice, less than a tablespoon of vinegar and then some food dye. I find if I put a tablespoon, it just gets sticky, but less than a tablespoon of vinegar works really well. And then it is taste safe if they do happen to put it in their mouth. The other item I've got there is pom-poms. Use your best judgment with that and where your child is at. Pom-poms are 100% a choking hazard. Number 15, DIY Christmas paper. There is so many ways you can do your own DIY Christmas paper. I'll suggest a couple here. So we use the same stamps that we used for baking. Took it outside and then put some paint down. And so she stamped this butcher's paper. If it's winter where you are, you could try it in the bathroom just to try and keep it contained. The other way we did it is we put paper in our tub that we use for sensory play and then put some golf balls in with paint and then rocked it up and down, up and down. So it was completely covered with all these different patterns. Number 16 is present wrapping. So I was wrapping presents for friends and my two year old really wanted to do some herself. So I wrapped a present for her, gave her some washi tape, some scissors. She did this activity multiple days it was such a winner so I hope it is for your kids as well I found washi tape really easy for little hands to be able to use um, it also stayed out so it didn't roll back on top of itself you know like the standard tape does where you're always trying to find the end number 17 was DIY gift tag so as you can see the whole process I like to have the kids involved so we did this one last year when she was two you know just cut out some tags use some different colors you can even match it to the theme you're doing and then present it so it's really inviting. As you can see here, once again, I've done the different sequins and glue and baker's twine. And this was something we sat down and did together for our family. The last two are traditions, but I really wanted to share these. So please stick around. The first one is a gratitude tree or a happy tree or a thankful tree. You can call it what you will. As you know, we as adults are encouraged to be grateful. There's so many gratitude journals out there that we can use. So last year, as part of Advent, each day I would ask my daughter what she was thankful for, what she was grateful for, what do you love? I use that a lot because she was two, what do you love? And then we'd write it on a circle and stick it to the Christmas tree. This is a really fun one and it really encourages kids to be thankful. It's something you're doing each day. From a parent's point of view, it's really fun to see where things come, where you come. I mean, I was blessed, I was day one, um, but it's really funny what they end up being thankful for, you know, whether it's the curtain or each child will be different. I really love this and it's one of our Christmas traditions that we started last year that we're gonna do again this year. This year I'm gonna do it with green paper um, just because I found the cardboard really quite heavy and I had to use some heavy duty tape to get it to stay to the wall. So this year I'm just gonna be using some green paper. And the last one I wanna share is behind me. So Christmas stockings and nice hand keepsakes. So these stockings were so inexpensive. They were from Kmart, they were a couple of dollars. And then I traced around each child's hand, first with like a pencil, I'm pretty sure. And then when they weren't there, so it was just me, I used a Sharpie to go over that. And then I used some puffy paint to fill in their hands. And then with a Sharpie down the bottom, I wrote the year. Have an awesome Christmas. I hope you make some wonderful family memories this year. Bye. Be making our Christmas memories. Oh.